So, $17 billion in pork. My goodness, your lawmakers' pet projects all outlined in the annual pig book released a short time ago. Funny name for a book. A lot of serious spending here. CNN's Kate Baldwin is in Washington. Kate, good morning. Good morning, Tony. Yep, the pig book. It sounds like a children's story, yeah. but it is anything but. We are talking about some very serious cash here. It's an annual report that comes out. It's put out by the nonpartisan watchdog group, Citizens Against Government Waste. And basically what they do is What's they... The difference? is they track the uh, they track the year's earmarks these federal dollars that are directed uh, directed to pet projects by lawmakers and this year we find out that more than 17 billion dollars as you mentioned went towards more than 11,000 pet projects um, for fiscal year 2008 and that brings the total amount of congressional earmarks to 271 billion dollars since 1991 if you break it down by state the the group says that Alaska received the most money in earmarks and they're followed by Hawaii and North Dakota and the state to receive the least is Arizona. Now when they released the book, the pig book this morning, the watchdog group along with some uh, rep uh, Republican lawmakers, they did commend the fact that there is more transparency in the earmark process that has been happening this year, but they do say that there's much more reform needed before they can put the pig book to rest. As long as this book is this thick, the American people are not going to trust us to make the big decisions for our future. They're not going to trust us to make the right decisions about what we spend for our military or how we handle Social Security and Medicare, uh, and for good reasons. And that was Senator Jim DeMint of South Carolina. He's the senator, one of the senators that proposed a one-year ban on earmarks earlier this year. That measure was defeated. Now, I should point out that criticism by this group is not one-sided. Democrats and Republicans are being held in the spotlight for their earmarks. Um, but they do say that while there are critics um, of the earmarks and the process, many of the lawmakers defend their projects, saying that they're very worthwhile and they're critical to their home states, which they know best, Tony. So, Kate, uh, how about the president? Presidential candidates, uh, how much pork for the candidates? Well, they're not the uh, biggest purveyors <laughs> of pork this year, but uh, the, Senator Obama, he had, uh, let's see, 53 earmarks, which came out to about $100 million. And then Senator Clinton, she had more than that. She had 281 uh, earmarks that came out to close to $300 million in earmarks. Now, Senator McCain, he had none. Uh, he's been a longtime critic of the earmarks. Uh, Hillary Clinton bringing home the bacon. You uh, said Kate, it, I did not. I did, and I apologize already. If only I could uh, bring it back. All right, Kate, can I unsay it? Kate Baldwin on Capitol Hill for us. Kate, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.